Okay. So guys, it is Combat Saturday. Here we go. And today's topic, I want to go over some realistic strikes that you can use in an actual self-defense situation. Okay. So before getting into the actual strikes, we need to point out a few things. All right. Um, a self-defense situation, a street situation, is not the same as a competitive match, like a boxing match. It isn't the same thing, okay? In a competitive match, you've got kind of a, you know, a back and forth exchange. You know, typically uh, when it starts, you, know, you might throw a few jabs to feel the other guy out and, you know, you know that kind of thing, right? It, it's, it's a sport, you know, and that's, I mean, that, that's just the nature of it. Now, I know things get rough, obviously, but... You know, it is a sport, right? You have two people on either side of the ring or the cage. The bell goes, and they come out, and they both know it's they they both know it's on. You know, the secret is out. Okay, I mean, you know, obviously there's no surprises there. They both know there's going to be a fight. It's a referee there. It's and and that's it. In the street situation, there is no prior warning. Okay, it, it a, a situation is just thrust upon you, generally. And it's usually going to be someone who's bigger than you, okay? Uh, in most cases, all right? Um, and so things like closing the gap and, 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 and uh, you know, doing a fake and, and, and trying to get, get in there, it, it, it doesn't really apply in, in, in a street situation, okay? Now, angles are still important, but how you get there is very different than how you would in a competitive match okay so you need to make that distinction that you know understand the difference between a competitive match and a street defense situation okay the other thing to keep in mind too is obviously um you know there's generally speaking there's like respect between the two competitors when there's a sporting event okay um generally speaking i know i know you've you, you had some bad rivalries over the years but usually there is some respect, you know, there might be a, a hug afterwards and that kind of thing. In the street situation, um, there is no respect. The person obviously wants to hurt you, okay? So he wants to hurt you. That means you should have no problem about hurting him either, okay? Or her, okay? Um, and so as far as angles go, ideally you want to always be in a position where you can use all your weapons and he can only use two of his. All right, so I'm gonna take Bob here. I'm gonna move him around a little bit here. Okay, see, ideally I wanna actually be here. I'm not sure you can see, but I'm on an angle to him, okay? So he can only use this weapon here. That one is pretty far away here, but I'm in a position where I can use everything, okay? I, I, can, you, you, I, I, I can see everything and I can use everything. That's where I wanna be. You need to have an advantage. Okay, think of it as cheating. Okay, you need to give yourself an advantage of some kind. If you're right in front of someone, you can hit him, he can hit you. All right, you need to give yourself an advantage of some kind. So people are moving around, someone's melting off to you, whatever, whatever. You just want to really, really casually, slowly kind of maneuver around a bit. You know, you're moving around. Don't, don't ever just stay still. All right, because oftentimes people freeze up and things like that, okay? You want to always be moving a little bit. Even if it's a little bit, move your hands like that, okay? Just move around a little bit, you know, um, you know, and just slowly, slowly kind of shimmy yourself over to the side there, okay? And that's really what you want. You want to get to that side position, okay? Now, he's going to move, but you keep moving, all right? You want to get to that position. You may not always be able to do that, but if you can, you can do that, all right? And, and so you'll be in a much better position to strike, and he can only use one of of what one side of his body all right other thing too is okay don't worry about looking at a guy's face you know looking down here so that does a couple of things number one it makes you seem like you're intimidated or you're cowering before you know before him and that's what people want in a, in, in a street situation they want you to cower before them you know, they want to show their dominance over you but here's the thing, okay, they may think it puts me at a disadvantage, but I'm actually looking at their chest because I want to see everything. His, unless he has laser vision, he can't hurt you with his eyes, okay? But if I'm looking here at his eyes, I get fixated on his eyes, all right, and I don't see the rest of it, okay? He could knee me, he could do something, he, you know, I, I, I can't see everything, okay? If I'm looking down a little bit, I can actually see everything, okay? 
he tries to kick me, he tries to knee me, whatever. He tries to punch me, he tries to do anything. I can actually see his entire body. Okay, this is actually a good tactic in a, a, in a, in a uh, competitive match too. Okay, look down a bit, you can see everything. Okay, all right. And, uh, and so I think, so, so, so try, you know, don't look at the eyes, look down a bit and take an angle. Okay, doing that is real, real important. Okay, so that takes care of the positioning part, part of things, right? You, you, you want to be looking at, at, the, at the chest, so you can see everything, you know, and you want to take an angle to put yourself in a better position. Now, in terms of actual strikes, and they come off of natural hand positions, all right? So one hand position can be, what's up? What's up? All right? Now, from here, notice I'm not doing this. I'm not folding them in, okay? All right? I'm just here. So I can actually do, I can actually, my arms are free to actually do, do things. So one really, really simple thing you can do is just call the hurling palm or you can use a back fist. Okay, get an initial strike. This is not a knockout blow, but it's enough to stun him so you can hit him with something more heavy, heavy duty. Here it is. See? It's a whipping. See? My hand is like this, and it kind of flicks, right? And I get that. What's up? Right? And then I can get him with some, some, something harder, okay? Now, another thing you can do, now you might need to condition your knuckles for this, okay? But you can use a back fist as well, right? From the same position, right? A back fist. Right? Now, some people, uh, you, you could use a hammer fist as well from here, right? Boom! Right? Boom! 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 Um, coming around from here isn't realistic, because I know this is a... a um, from other positions, it could work. But from, from, from here, you wouldn't want to bring it around like that, right? Always the nearest weapon to the nearest target. Okay, right here, straight line, here to here, boom, 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 okay? And, and then from there you can hit it with something more heavy duty, okay? So back fist, hammer fist, or um, the hurling palm, okay? Another one, uh, of course, the, so, so that, that's from that position, okay? There's kind of like three sort of natural positions that you, you can kind of work off of. That, that's one. The next one is called the thinker. Mm -hmm. Okay, right from here, right, right. I can still do a hammer fist, right, right, right. I can still, I, I, I could do this coming around hammer fist too, but I'm, I'm not, I'm still not, not so sure it's a good idea. But still, you could maybe do that, maybe, right. But still, you have this, this kind of coming around, and when he sees a hand coming around, you know, that's gonna tip him off. Okay, you can't telegraph things, right. So just right from here, boom, just right straight out. That, that, that's honestly, you know, the the best way from yourself here. Here, right, just straight up, straight up, okay? So you got so we have that hurling palm or back back fist, hammer fist, we're still on that. Another one is a throat chop. Just here. So now, well, again, straight line. We're not doing this arcing motion like that across. From here to here. Bang! Bang! Okay, and again, I mean that's gonna hurt like hell, okay? But still, it's not necessarily a knockout blow, but you'll get a go. <gasps> Or, or, you know, you get, get him with, with, with that first hit, and go, whoa, and then that's your chance to get him with some, something heavier duty. So heavier duty stuff, now we're looking at palm strikes. Palm strikes. So here, you can do straight palm strikes, right? Use the palm heel, okay? And there's the, and that, and the, so after you've gotten that first hit, whether it's here, whether it's here, whether it's here, get him with some follow-up palm strikes, okay? Straight palm strikes. You can do the straight palm strikes. You can also do a hooking palm strike. You know, sometimes they call, it's called a jack slap. You can take your palm on your ear there. Give it a bit of a pressure there. And that already hurts, okay? But so so here, after you've gotten that first hit, right? You go, bang, right? You can go, bang. and I'm, I'm not like sl slapping like a, like a bitch slap, right? I'm using my palm heel. So this would be like a, like a, a, like a bitch slap right here. All right, okay. Now, actually, that could still do, do some damage if you get in the, the ear. Look at this though. Bitch slap, okay, bitch slap, bitch slap. Now, come here. Use your body, torque. The body torque, bang, bang, right? So, bah, bah, bang. Right, yeah. You nail some of all those. Let you get the first shot, bang, bang, bang. Right, 
you need to, you know, and you're gonna really mess up. You get that ear there, yeah, yeah, that's enough. And then you want to get the hell out of there, get away, all right? So get that palm here, so back and back. So we got the hurling palm, back for his hand. For the, it's, it's all kind of variations of the same same thing, okay? Then we got the throat chop, palm strike, and we got wham, okay? All right. The third position, and this is like go time, all right? So we we had here. It's it's like di different levels of escalation, okay? First we got here. Then we got here, okay? Then we got here. Hey, man, come on, come on, come on. We don't want any trouble, okay? Come on. Now from here, I'm right in position to do a palm strike. I'm covered. My center's covered here. I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I can do palm. I can do I can do that, right? Um, the the back, back, back fist here probably doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, from this position, I, I would have to actually bring it back a little bit. That doesn't make much sense. Just go right in, right in, right in, right in, okay? Right up with, with the palms and then from there, jack slap and all that kind of stuff. And one other thing that's very, very useful, you might have to condition your fingers a bit for this, but finger jab. This is really useful. This was one of uh, Bruce Lee's favorite techniques, actually. Finger jab, okay? Now, make sure you hold your fingers with a little bit of a curve there. See? The, if, if you have a straight, you might break your fingers, actually. Have them a little curved, okay? A curve, and you see in. Make them real tight, like a spear hand, a curve, all right? And what you can do, now you could get the eyes, throat, okay, okay, but you see, you had to get used to, to, to get those fingers used to hitting, you know, um, objects, solid objects. I have my, my, my dummy as well, where I can do it as well, but just get, get them conditioned to do it. You don't need to get a, a hard hit, it doesn't have to be hard. Okay, you don't even have to even make contact at all, okay? Because honestly, if people see things going at their eyes, even if you don't make contact, they're going to, initially, they're going to see something coming, they're going to flinch, go, oh! And that's your chance to get them with the heavy stuff, okay? So, bang, 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 so, come on, no no, 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 no trouble, come on, come on. See, some people try and tell you to come away from out here and, and go, no, 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 no. This is obviously very close, close range, okay? Someone's here, he's giving you a hard time, you know, you aren't supposed to say, come on, I don't want any trouble, okay? I'm really only a few inches of, I mean, maybe a foot or so away, right? Go, right, and then, like that. then I come with my stuff, and, you know, yeah. So, anyway, so that, that's it. So, the different levels of escalation, let's do a, a review again, okay? We, we got, like, like, this hurling palm, this hammer fist, the back fist, chop, all those, okay. Hurt, hurt, okay, palm, hammer, back fist, chop. They're all quite similar, but they're all coming, coming from here, okay? Number two is from, from, from this point. Again, hammer fist could be a palm, palm as well. Could be a, you know, here, boom, boom, right, right. Okay, yeah, hammer fist is good, right? And then come in, and then we have our heavy duty attacks, really heavy duty stuff, the palm, bang, 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 whack, whack, right? Make sure you use a body, okay? Whack, 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 whack right? It's also possible to do an, an uppercut palm, which is kind of like, like just here, 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 okay, yeah, and bang, bang, right, right, and, and that's the, the thing, right, and then af after that, you know, you nail him with that a few times, you should be able to get away, and then the third level of, of, of uh, escalation is you're right here, and you just go right into that stuff immediately, there's, 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 there's no preliminary move, you just go right into it, because your hands are already here, come on, don't in trouble, come on, back, 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 right, okay? So those are things, now, um, you notice though, uh, except there is a back fist and hammer fist, but I'm, I'm not actually uh, punching this way or this way, okay? Because unless you condition your knuckles for that, and even if you have, uh, you're still taking a, uh, you're, you're, you're taking a kind of a risk, okay? Because things happen in, in the heated situations, um, I know because I've, I've been in a few, okay? Um, and, and pe people are moving around, there's, there, there's adrenaline going, okay, and it's it's really, really easy for, for him to move, and you'll punch and you'll get a skull or something of like that, or, or, you know, it's really easy, right? This stuff, you can really hit without much consequence, and, and, and nothing's going to happen, even, you know, he moves in here, he, you, you might end up getting close, and, and, you know, you might punch his body, maybe, or that kind of thing, but going towards the head, there's a real good chance you're going to break your hand, okay? Even if you condition it, there's still a good chance you can break your hand, okay? Um, because if you get the skull, you know, and you're hitting hard, yeah, it's, that might, might not go so well for you, okay? All right, so, um, 
All right, so you covered quite a bit of uh, material there. Uh, yeah, there's some uh, self-defense information that can be uh, used, okay? Just uh, now one last point, obviously, is prevention is the best defense that you'll ever have, okay? Um, obviously, if you, if you can avoid a situation, do everything you, you, you can to avoid it. If you simply have no alternative, there's no way out, then yeah, that's what these things are for, okay? But obviously, try to avoid the situation entirely. And uh, just be safe, and just and you know, just just try try to be a good person. You know, we 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 learn these things not because we want to hurt people, but because we want to uh, better ourselves. Okay, so, anyways, okay. So hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, send me a message. You can always visit my website www.chriswanfitness.com, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay.